Right then, so, um, cracking on with the Honda today. Um, basically, I've been doing a bit of welding to the sills. I've done a lot of footage, um, but I just thought it was a bit shit, so I didn't really put it together. Um, it was just me blabbing on and whatnot and other things which probably weren't that interesting. Um, but if I feel like adding them, I probably will do uh, when I'm editing, but whatever. So, uh, today it is a bit windy. And it's no good for welding, especially gas. Um, so I've been making use of my time. Rather than welding, I've been doing some fabricating instead. So I've created some pieces of metal. Uh, this bit here. And this bit here. These bits are the sill um, when they go on the inside. And uh, yeah, I'll show you now actually. Right, so not so long ago, I probably showed you this panel here when I was fabricating the new sills. This is my sort of like template type thing, um, you know, that I used. And um, I'll be using this in the future as well for uh, other things and whatnot. So the first piece, which is this piece here, is the strengthener. Now, I've not bothered putting a hole in it because I don't think the hole is needed it was probably just used for you know things at factory but this is a new piece i've made it out of 1.5 mil so it's a bit stronger than the original uh, if we just slot that in and uh, yeah it, it does go in obviously it needs a bit of adjustment at the bottom that's still quite bent up a bit you can hammer that flat that's no issue same with that bit of the top there um they can all be hammered flat when when it goes in but yeah, that's what it'll look like once it's if it when it's welded in, and um, yeah, that's not too bad really. It's pretty okay. Um, so yeah, that's that piece. So for this uh, sill, what I've done is I've also created this piece here. Um, I basically where the sill overlaps, you've got your interlocking section here and then the sill overlaps this sill here as you can probably see where i've cut so that's where this piece joins and that's where the uh, middle piece ends so i've created a piece that will just slot in there like so and that will allow me to basically get the sill that i've made and then lap it over so that it's pretty much as factory you know um, because as i probably said in the past this car has three sections of sill you've got the end piece for the uh jacking point bit and whatnot for the extension you've got the middle piece that runs quite far down until about there and then you've got the front jacking point and they're all lapped over each other um so yeah um this isn't cut to final shape yet. It's not cut um, to final, um, yeah. It's not cut to final shape yet, so um, it's not going to fit perfectly at the minute. But once we get that in, uh, trimmed down and such, it will. If I get a clamp on that, hopefully we'll be able to see what that looks like. Um, it gives you an idea. Right, so I've just got that clamped in. Um, so as you can see it lines up with the uh, midsection if you push up that's what I'll probably do when I when I get a tack in there let's push it up just to line it up right and whatnot and it should be golden really uh, these allow me to give like a one mil gap to fill so that you get good penetration um, so yeah uh, that's all pretty good Right then, so it is what the seventh, eighth of October, and we have been doing a bit more welding today. Um, I have been countless hours, countless hours of um, basically getting this trimmed down to to fit properly. I also decided to cut out the jacking point because, well, there we go. As you can see, um, that was a, that was the side that was facing, so you could see what it looked like. 
well, that was when it, that was beside that was welded to the sill. And if I show the heater, you might be able to see that. I don't know if you can, but oh yeah, there we go. So yeah, I'm going to clean that up. I'm going to fabricate a new one of these. This is about 1.5, 1.6, 0.8 maybe mill steel. So get that med up plug welded in and it should be good. I'll even add a bit of extra strength and do some welds around the side. So we should be good on that one. So to see what I've been up to, I've welded in this piece here, grinded the welds down, it's not perfect, no one's going to see this anyway so it doesn't really matter. Um, I have though grinded down the side that you will see properly. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we had this issue where this panel was very ill-fitted. It didn't really fit well. Um, but now we're starting to get some shape. I've started to... Um, that's a, that's probably the gap I'm after. It's a bit... Uh, I've just been messing around with the gaps and stuff. But we'll, um, yeah, we'll see. And then we need to drill these plug welds. So that, that will plug welded onto there. So I'll go plug weld them now. Right, so it's the next day, and um, we're getting prepared to get this piece finally welded in. All the holes have been drilled, and um, we've made sure that we've got that gap. It's not, it's not <laughs> straight, but it's got a gap. That might be a bit challenging, but it doesn't matter, we can fill it in. Uh, it just needs lifting up ever so slightly at the back, and then we should be good. Right, so I've got some tacks in there. Um, now it's just time to get it all. Maybe put a few more in here and there, and then stitch it all up, and we should be good. And then moving on to the plugs afterwards. So yeah. Right, so I've just done a few little runs. Um, mainly one on the end. I'm pretty chuffed with. That's pretty good. Um, that's one in the middle near the jacking point and I still need to do the rest so Yeah, but I should have had that on the box.
Right, so that's all been welded in and um, painted with zinc. Um, yeah, it's it's all right welding to be fair. It's strong, that's the main thing. I was really happy with that bit, but that was probably the best bit I did. Um, but yeah, all the plugs are done. And yeah, that's not moving anywhere at all. It's nice and solid. You can just see under there. It's a bit too windy to do any welding today, hence why I'm just recording this and I'll probably do some fabrication later. But there we go. Um, you can see that they have drain holes and holes for the cover. I will drill them at a later date and I'll make sure that I uh, make sure that they don't rust either. So I'll just put a bit of primer on them. But yeah. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, it all looks nice and factory. Um, I will sand down this area just to remove all the grind marks, just to make it a bit smoother. But as you can see, there's that um, overlap there, and this is what I was trying to replicate. This side, where is it? As you can probably see, there's the overlap. So, there we go. And it's all it's all good so the next bit I need to do is get the wheel art shit bit in which will probably be in the next video um, to be fair I think this sill section will probably just be in three parts because I don't want to keep them too long but yeah um, so the next bit will be the wheel arch the little panel there and I'll put the reinforcing panel in and the jacking point and then finally the top bit and then it all painted and then all waxed inside and uh, protected from rust if i can get around to the back which i kind of can um there's back side it's a bit awkward not in any sort of dirty clothes at the minute so i don't want to get dirty going under the car but there we go as you can see that is all well it's got plenty of penetration it's all been treated for rust and stuff. So yeah, um, we're doing all right. I'm pretty happy with that. I've just clamped that top piece on. That just gives you a little bit of a an insight to what it may look like once it's finally done. Um, so yeah, that looks pretty good to be fair. I'm pretty chuffed with that. Um, and obviously we've got the panel. It's not gonna be a proper fit because all the metal went out. But um, yeah, once we get that panel in, it's gonna look, I think it's gonna look really good. Um, I'll even show you some test footage of having the cover on and making sure that all the panel gaps are in line. So yeah, I'll show you that now. So yeah, as I said, I don't really want to leave these videos too long. Um, so I will probably finish up here and I will see you in part three where we'll probably will get this all finished up and done.